एटॉमिक वॉल्यूम यू नो दैट द शेप ऑफ एन एटम इज लाइक अ स्फीयर सो इन ऑर्डर टू फाइंड आउट द एटॉमिक वॉल्यूम इट इज नेसेसरी दैट वी शुड बी नोइंग अबाउट द एटॉमिक रेडियस फॉर अ फ्री एटम दैट मीन्स एन एटम विच डज नॉट रिक्वायर एनी टाइप ऑफ बॉन्डिंग देन द डिस्टेंस बिटवीन द न्यूक्लियस एंड द आउटर मोस्ट ऑर्बिट ऑफ दैट पर्टिकुलर एटम दैट इज कंसिडर्ड टू बी एटॉमिक रेडियस बट इफ इट इज ए नॉन मेटलिक एलिमेंट हैविंग अ सिंगल कोवलेंट बॉन्ड बिटवीन टू डाई एटॉमिक मॉलिक देन वॉट एवर इज द हाफ ऑफ द एवरेज डिस्टेंस बिटवीन द टू न्यूक्लियाई ऑफ दोज टू एटम्स दैट इज कंसिडर्ड टू बी एटॉमिक रेडियस फॉर एग्जाम्पल डिस्टेंस बिटवीन टू न्यूक्लियाई of atoms of two atoms in a hydrogen molecule that means supposing this hydrogen molecule whatever this the distance between the two given nuclei that is 74 pm that is 74 pico meter then the radius of the hydrogen would be 37 pm that is half of 74 so that is 37 pm if it is a metallic element then the half of the average distance between the two nuclei in the crystal lattice of that particular metallic element in the that structure that will be referred as atomic radius how does atomic radius change in a given group group in a given group there is an increase in the atomic number as we move from top to bottom that is mainly because as we move from top to bottom a new orbit is being included and so there will be increase in the atomic radius from top to bottom as you can see that in lithium the atomic radius is 133 increases to 154 for sodium and finally for cesium it becomes 235 pm that means in a group when we go from top to bottom the atomic radius and therefore the atomic volume will also increase how does it change in a given period in a given period the two adjoining atoms no new orbit is being added up but we know that the number of protons will increase because the two adjoining members of a given period the atomic number increases by 1 and because of that particular reason the positive charges of the proton inside the nucleus of the adjoining mole uh, atoms in the given period would be different so as you move from left to right the number of protons in the nucleus of the atom increases and that causes the increase sorry that that causes the decrease in the atomic radius for example in lithium it has got three protons in the nucleus so these three protons will be engaged in attracting electrons towards the nucleus whereas in beryllium boron and so on the number of protons are more and because of that reason with greater force they are going to attract the electrons so the outermost orbit is going to be slightly nearer to the nucleus as compared to that in lithium so you can see the size atomic radius decreases as we move from left to right in a given period for lithium it is 133 whereas for fluorine you can see that it has decreased to 64 ionization enthalpy some energy is necessary to remove the electron which is present in the valence orbit now that energy which is provided to the gaseous atom so that that gaseous atom can get rid of the electron present in the valence orbit that is the outermost orbit that energy is referred as ionization enthalpy its si unit is kilo calorie per mole or else kilo joule per mole how does ionization enthalpy change in a group when we move from top to bottom it will decrease the ionization enthalpy decreases means it will become very easy for the lower elements to lose electrons as compared to the upper elements that is the meaning of increase sorry decrease in the ionization enthalpy for example in sodium the member of the first group this atomic 
this atom has got third orbit as the outermost orbit and it has to lose outermost electron. Whereas the next element in this given group that is potassium, fourth orbit is the outermost orbit. And because of that reason the atomic radius increases. So the attraction between the nucleus and the outermost electron will be slightly less. So it can lose that outermost electron much easily. So potassium must be and not only must be but is more reactive than that of sodium. How does ionization enthalpy change in a period from left to right? The values of ionization enthalpy that is going to increase from left to right. Increase in ionization enthalpy means the capability of losing electron will be less. So it will require greater amount of energy to lose the electron of the outermost orbit. Why does this happen? Once again it depends on the same atomic radius. As you can see that in lithium, beryllium, boron so on, the number of valence electrons in the outermost orbit that is is 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on, so on. In case of lithium, the outermost orbit has to lose one electron and that orbit is the second orbit. Similarly in beryllium also the second orbit. But because the atomic radius decreases in beryllium, the size of the atom decreases, so it can lose those electrons with greater difficulty. That is factor number one. So the ionization enthalpy will be higher. Factor number two, in lithium, it has to lose only one electron. Whereas in beryllium, as you can see, it has to lose two electrons. So once again, the energy required will be more and therefore ionization enthalpy in a given period also increases. So that is what we can say, electron affinity. The energy released when an electron is added in the neutral gaseous atom forming an anion. That is called as electron affinity. You know that some elements, they accept electrons. When an electron has to lose, when, sorry, when an atom has to lose an electron, at that time, it requires energy to lose that electron. But when it gains electron, it is going to give out energy. The energy which is being given out during inclusion of that electron, that is referred as electron affinity. How does electron affinity, tendency of the electrons, accepting electrons depend? It depends on the electronic configuration and also on the volume of the given atom. In a given group, there will be a decrease in the electron affinity as we move from top to bottom in a given group. Why does this happen? Atomic radius, when we move from top to bottom, what happens to that? that increases. Because of the increase in the atomic radius, the attraction of the electron in the outermost orbit, in the lower elements, will be less as compared to that of the upper elements. And because of that particular reason, the attraction of the outermost orbit towards the proton in the nucleus decreases from top to bottom, causing increase in the electron affinity. For example, in say case of fluorine, it has got two orbits and it has to accept one electron in order to complete the octet. Whereas the next element in the group that is chlorine, it has got three orbits. So third orbit is little bit away as compared to that of the second orbit. It will accept electron but it will have lesser force of attraction. So the electron affinity will be different as compared to that of fluorine. So we can say that fluorine is more reactive as that of chlorine. In the same period, when we move from left to right, the atomic volume decreases. That means the force of attraction of the proton to the nucleus of the nucleus towards the electron in the outermost energy that will increase, outermost orbit that will increase. As a result, it is easy to accommodate the electron in the outermost orbit. For example, in oxygen, the atom has got two electrons, two electronic orbit. And because of that particular reason, for example, in oxygen, as we can see that it's, it has got two electronic orbit. And these two electronic orbit will require two electrons to complete the octet. 
whereas in case of fluorine it has got it has to require only one electron in order to complete the octet and so once again we can see that the fluorine as compared to oxygen because of the size of the atom and also the number of electrons it will be different that means electron affinity will be different in case of fluorine and oxygen so fluorine will be more reactive as compared to that of oxygen electronegativity the tendency of an atom to attract the bonding pair of electrons between the two atoms of a molecule is called electronegativity the absolute value of electronegativity cannot be obtained it cannot be measured that which is electronegative i cannot obtain exact value of electron it can be only compared the electronegativity of lithium is considered to be unity and only relative values of the electronegativities of the other elements can be determined electronegativity of fluorine is taken as 4 because its electronegativity is four times that of lithium now this value of electronegativity of four of fluorine is considered to be the highest amongst all the elements of the given periodic table electronegativity as we move from top to bottom in a particular group that decreases whereas in a given period from left side to right right side the electronegativity will increase electronic configuration it means the arrangement of electrons in their respective orbits position of the element in the modern periodic table that will relieve us that will give us the electronic configuration of the given atom that is going to reveal that thing the number of electrons in the outermost orbit of an atom of an element describes its properties various types of properties chemical properties also valency is metallic property or non metallic property its atomic volume that is atomic radius can be known its ionization energy can be found out its electronic affinity can be found out etc we can find out so many things by just knowing its number of electrons in the outermost orbit that is valence orbit and therefore its properties can be predicted very easily for example the position of magnesium in modern periodic table is in the third period and the second group the third period that indicates that it must be having three electronic orbits that is k l and m what is its group number its group number is second it's a member of the second group so the second group indicates that it must be having two electrons in the outermost orbit so we come to know about the number of electrons in the outermost orbit also that means the electronic configuration of magnesium will be 2 8 2 it has got two electrons in the outermost orbit so it is going to lose those two electrons and form a positive ion and if it forms a positive ion it must be a metallic element